That's why we need basically better treatments to treat these patients uh, that are really under treated now with the treatments that we have now. And we need to actually have a safe treatment that will be uh, possible to treat these patients long term. Um, and again, that patient population was indeed overlooked, even though I feel they suffer even more than psoriasis patients because of the lack of sleep, the each all night, it affects their quality of life. I started seeing a dermatologist for eczema and was diagnosed um, at about eight years old. Um, I had small patches on my wrists and my feet and um, it you know, progressively changed over the years, the symptoms, the way it was presenting and the treatments I was receiving. Did those treatments ever help you? Some um, were more successful than others. Some caused it to flare up and increase in the pain and severity. Um, some of them helped for a period of time, but nothing ever gave me complete relief. Did you have any trouble sleeping? Oh, absolutely. Um, at one point I was put on a prescription to help me calm down at night so that I would stay asleep. What other risks of atopic dermatitis should be considered besides the comorbidities that we've mentioned? Yeah, so there is a, a nice bulk of a, emerging a, a studies a, that show a, also in atopic dermatitis risk for obesity may not as, be as high as we see in psoriasis, but still compared to healthy controls, uh, these patients do have uh, some obesity. And I think it was previously not appreciated, but now after I read the, these studies and I look at my patients, they are not exactly like the psoriasis patients, but they are a little bit overweight. We have several goals. Number one, we want to prevent outbreaks. And the most important way to do this is to counsel patients about lifestyle. We want to talk about infrequent bathing, avoiding hot water, avoiding any triggers that they may have that help to flare the atopic dermatitis. Um, we want to have patients use frequent moisturization um, regularly. Um, number two, we want to manage comorbidities and secondary complications. We, we touched on some of the comorbidities before in terms of cardiovascular.